What is happening everybody? Welcome to today's video. Last video we did all the body parts, like the body kit, stuff like that, other than like the spoiler and the mirrors, whatever, but we're gonna get to that. But today is the body, which is very exciting and also very nervous. I don't wanna mess it up. I went to work yesterday, brought the trailer in the car, unloaded it, started taping it up, and uh, pretty much just gonna pick it up from there. Now we're gonna get it cleared today, final clear, and hopefully it goes well. I'm gonna try my best to just put the clear on the car and not worry about how it looks, because I wanna wet sand polish the whole car anyway and I don't want to run it everywhere. So we'll see how that goes, but anyways, I'm off to work and uh, we'll pick it up there. Car is all ready. It actually took like a few hours to tape it all up, wash it, take the wheels off. So the car is 100% ready to go. All you gotta do is tack it off and then start laying the clear. I'm super nervous, but I'm just gonna take it slow, like I said last time, and I am gonna put three coats on. So I'm just gonna try and put it on just get it on the car, not worry about making it super nice. Hopefully we don't get a ton of runs. That would be good. <sighs> we'll see how this goes. I hate painting so much, but I cannot wait to see this thing shiny again for the final time. It's gonna be sick. So today we're gonna use the big boy cup and makes up about two quarts probably. I'm assuming I'll have to mix up another one of these, but I'm just gonna do another one probably. And I'd rather mix it in this big container than just like one cup at a time. That way, once I run out, I can fill it back up, get all the way around the car. Then I'll mix up another one of these for maybe the second or the third coat. I think I can get two coats out of this, but we'll see. So just finished, third coat. I haven't even looked at it yet. I'm super nervous. The main thing that I was worried about was runs. So I was putting it on nice and easy, just trying to get like coverage basically. I don't see any runs, so that's good. Like I said, I, I plan on wet sanding and polishing the whole car. Uh, I just like the way that it looks. I'm like, I'm not a good painter, so that really helps, but that's a big fish eye right there. I'm not sure why I'm getting huge fish eyes, but so yeah, this is three coats on here. You can see there's a little bit of texture in it, but that's like fine, that's okay. Uh, the roof actually looks really good. It's a lot easier to, to dump it on a top area, but. Oh, that's a big relief. I don't see, I don't see any runs. So that's really good. That's what I was trying to avoid. And that's, I was so nervous to do this, but I think it actually came out really well. I mean, it's got a little bit of texture to it, but like I said, that's perfectly fine with me. Yeah, I was just really concerned with running it everywhere. Yes, yeah, so I got three coats on there. Now I'll be able to wet sand this, flatten it right out, polish it up, and it should be like really nice. Was that a run? No, no, no run. I don't see a single run, so that's awesome. And yeah, it's looking, it's looking pretty good. So tomorrow I'll come back, untape it all, put the wheels back on, get it back on the trailer, get it home, and then continue working on the spoiler and the mirrors. I'm gonna go home and do that right now anyways, but gotta get the spoiler, get the mirrors done, get them painted, re-clear them, um, then basically start kind of assembling, but also kind of like wet sanding and polishing, I would say. There's a few things here and there I have to do, so we'll pick it up back then.
So got it all loaded up, got it back home, unloaded. And uh, overall, I'm, I'm honestly pretty happy with it. I mean, there is quite a bit of texture to it. I don't know if you can even see it on video. It's hard to see, but it looks pretty good. So there's no runs. I've gone over the whole entire car and there's no runs at all, which is actually really good. And that's exactly what I was trying to do. So I put three coats on just kind of like easy coats. So that way I knew I could wet sand and polish it and just kind of flatten it out that much more. I'd rather sand out a little bit of orange peel, a little bit of texture than have to then block uh, small areas where it ran like here and there and everywhere and whatever. Plus you're gonna get a little bit of dirt, dirt nibs and stuff here and there no matter what. And uh, there is of course that in this. So it's not really a big deal to me to just basically sand it all with maybe like a thousand or even 1500 and then, you know, 2000, 3000, whatever, bring it up real quick. And it'll be much nicer finish too. But like, I don't know, I think it looks really good. It's also extremely dusty now. Overall, I'm really happy. It's been so long since I've seen the car in like the actual color and it looks sick. I'm so happy with it. So now next steps, you see I sanded the uh, gas door and the door handles. So those are ready to be re-cleared. And then now I got to get on the spoiler, basically block it, fix any little pinholes, stuff like that. And then I don't know where they went, but the mirrors, I basically have to strip prime paint, the mirrors, the spoiler. And then once that's done, I'll sand that all again, re-clear the spoiler and the mirrors with the door handles and the gas door. And then that's pretty much it. The only other little thing that I have to do is on this diffuser, I want to basically sand and tape off this center section and do this black, um, probably with no flake, just so I don't have to re-clear it again, but I just want this to be black, maybe leave these purple um, so it matches like this and then this. Uh, I just It's just so much purple on the back end of the car. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't look great because it's like the spoiler's gonna be purple, then you see the trunk is purple, then you'll see the you know rear bumper purple, and the diffuser purple, it's just a lot of purple. So I need to break it up and I think I'm gonna do that black. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Then I'll get to wet sanding and polishing, which it's, you know, pretty time consuming, but then this thing will be like fully done. Of course, there still is quite a bit of work to do. Like I wanna take the wheels off, um, polish them up really good because it's been in here for like a year now and getting dusty and even a little bit of overspray and stuff like that from everything happening. So I wanna get the wheels off polish them up really good, do all that. And I also wanna do inside the wheel wells with like the gravel guard stuff, just to black them out because right now you can't really see in there, but certain angles you can kind of see that's blue in there still. And I would just like to black that out and uh, basically, you know, make it a little bit nicer in there. I wouldn't mind to actually paint the calipers and stuff. I'm not sure like what color, probably just black, honestly. They're just stock, so I don't really wanna like, Ooh, look at my stock brakes, but at least they wouldn't be rusty then. So I might do that. The headlights, um, if you remember, I didn't really, I don't think I filmed it, but I tore them apart. One was a Varietta specific headlight. One was just a Spec S, Spec R, whatever headlight. Um, so one's silver inside, one's gray. And also the lenses are actually different, which I didn't know. One is more like white, kind of like foggy than the other one. And I sanded them both, cleared them. So I'm actually gonna have to like tint the headlights like slightly, hopefully, so I can hide that. Cause I don't really feel like spending money buying new lenses and stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna paint basically the, it's not the housing because it's hard to explain. There's like a lens and then there's like a middle piece and then there's a the housing, which you don't see. You just see like that middle bezel part. So I have to paint those. I think I'm gonna do them black, um, kind of match whatever. I'm gonna have a little black accents here and there. So I'm gonna do those black. I was gonna do a body color with the purple, but like, eh, I don't know, kind of like C6 style body color headlights, but I don't really think I'm gonna do that now, but I guess I could always do it like down the road. So that is another big thing. Also, the taillights, they're kind of crappy. They're actually like, they're clear taillights, but then they have like a red reflector inside, which is kind of like not the best look ever. So I have them tinted red right now. Um, I would like to take that off, see how it looks because the wheels are chrome. Those taillights will be chrome. It might, you know, match a little bit better than when I originally did the red. And also if it doesn't, I want to redo the red anyways, cause it's kind of marked up and doesn't look that great. Yeah, as far as the car goes, that, part is pretty much done. Um, and then I haven't really mentioned it, but there is kind of a deadline. I, it's still not set in stone, so I have no idea if it's even happening. So I don't want to say anything, but there's something coming up like next, I guess that would be next month now that I would really, really like to take this car to. And it's, it hasn't been like the, the reason that I've done the car. It's just been in the back of my head, 
like, oh, the car will be definitely done for that, so I should go to that. And now it's like, it's a deadline because it's it's coming up and the car's not done. So I, I want to get the car done for that and then load the car up and go do like a cool thing with the car. So that's basically where my head's at. Uh, like I said, it's not set in stone. I'm really hoping that something happens in the next like couple weeks and then I can actually like announce it. I, it's, it's whatever, I'll get into it later. But yeah, for the most part, it's just basically little stuff now and that's super cool. So this thing's gonna be hopefully done within a couple weeks and that's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait to see this thing all put together, all shiny and just done. Like it makes such a difference when you have like all the moldings back on, door handles in, like the windows in. Also, I ordered that molding. It should be here this week um, for the windshield so then I can get the windshield put back in and also the rear window. Anyways, it's a lot of talking, but things are happening. This car is coming out really good. I'm super happy with it. I'm basically gonna leave the body as it is for now because of that kind of deadline. Um, if I had to like take it somewhere, I would be okay with people seeing it, how it is. Like it's not perfect, but I think that the car, I don't wanna like toot my horn, but I think the car is cool enough and you know, if people saw it in real life, like in person, they would be like, wow, that's a really cool car. I think I'm just gonna leave the car alone, get everything else done so the car is 100% complete and like ready to go somewhere, like if that were to happen, and then see how much time I have left and maybe start wet sanding, polishing inside. So overall, I think that's the plan. I keep jumping all over the place, but I, I, it's just kind of, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions, whatever. Like I said, I'm gonna try to announce what we're doing with the car later on, hopefully in a couple weeks. But if you guys wanna give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, if you're not, that's really cool. And uh, if you have friends that think might enjoy this, then maybe share it with them, that'd also be cool. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video and I will see you in the next one.